We made it to the Outback. We are here for two days exploring. We are going to Ayers Rock, the famous Ayers Rock. And what's the name of the other place? Couldn't tell. It's like Catajua with the name. We just butchered it, but it is very hot here. It's not humid, which is nice, but. Um, it's gonna be fine. Yes, can't wait. You guys, I can't seem to find Caleb. Indiana Jones is here with me. Out in the outback, mate. <laughs> Good day, mate. What's happening? We're getting attacked by flies. They're swarming us, oh my God. We just got to the base of the rock and we are doing the mala walk. Very fly infested. We are getting absolutely attacked. <laughs> They're literally all, 40 flies on me right now. <laughs> There's literally a face, a fly on my face. I'm gonna swallow it. Oh my god. <laughs> so before 2019, you used to be able to climb to the top of the rock. You can kind of see the path faintly. Um, but this is a super sacred rock to the Aboriginal people. Um, and so after many years of them asking it to be closed, uh, Australia finally listened and closed it, which I think is awesome. Um, and also it used to be kind of dangerous. A lot of people actually died walking up to the rock. It is pitch black outside. It is just after 5 a.m. and we are driving to Kata Judah. Can't even see Caleb. <laughs> We're going to see the sunrise there and super excited because sunset last night was incredible. So I have a feeling sunrise is gonna be super colorful too. We're doing a short walk to the viewing platform. It's very cold. Yeah. It's pretty chilly considering how hot it is during the day, but that's the desert. Made it to the viewing platform. It's still pretty dark. There are tons of signs like this that warn you against the heat and how you should finish all your walks before 11 a.m., drink lots of water, have sun protection, all that sort of stuff. Flies are back. <laughs> we got attacked by flies yesterday and it's already starting. I don't know if you can see them all over swarming, Caleb. It's even warm me right now, I think, than yesterday. Wait, I'm trying to get the ones on your hat. Yeah, this is the worst thing. <laughs> we are starting on the Walpa Gorge Walk. At least I think that's how you say it. We're walking through the gorge straight ahead. We are currently the only ones here, minus the, the flies. The flies. <laughs> hike is super windy which is nice my hat keeps falling off but it's nice because it keeps the flies off us and then as soon as the wind stops a hundred land right on our heads in our faces and our mouths and our eyes so whatever you do get a hat net before you come to Uluru we left too early in the morning to get one I don't know if you can tell how windy it is this like literally won't stay Oh, it's really bad right here. We gotta get off this bridge. Okay. Bubba literally has, I probably can't even tell because it's so bright. 
like a hundred on his hat, a hundred flies. They're just swarming us. I don't know if they're showing up. It's really hard to tell because it's so sunny. excited because tonight we are riding camels around Uluru at sunset. It's going to be very beautiful and hopefully no one gets thrown off a camel. <laughs> He has a muzzle on because he eats too much bush. I relate to that. <laughs> Riding the camels. <laughs> Archer did a good job taking us around. Now it's time for nap. Nap time. <laughs> 